Creating Objective and Measurable Global Transformation. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 111. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 111, April 19th, 2015 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering our team's progress and accomplishments for the last week using pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, access links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our newsletter list, or you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer and Satellite members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the first 25% of the written section and images for the Nature Lesson Plan to the website. You can see those here. Behind the scenes, we also wrote another 25% of this lesson plan, bringing it to 50% written completion. Also behind the scenes, we wrote the next 25% of our lesson plan with the central theme of open source, bringing that to 75% complete. These lesson plans are purposed to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central themes. Another behind-the-scenes component we worked on is the development of a comprehensive evaluation assessment and mutual feedback model for students and their teachers. Here you can see the outline for task-based assessments. Paige Allison Donatelli, graphic designer and owner-operator of Namaste Living in a Material World, finished the first 25% of the image creation for the Nature Lesson Mind Map, which you can see here. Paige also helped us create this new image for the Harmony Lesson Plan, which we featured this week across our social media networks. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on highest good food finished the final social media imagery and featured our open source cucumbers hub. We also did this for our food forest ground cover plantings hub. In addition to this, we researched and added the final major component to the open source sweet potatoes hub, recipes. You can see these new additions here, and these first recipe lists will grow as our food experts continue the process of designing the food self-sufficiency transition plan for remote village construction. In addition to this, we added two new delicious recipes from Sandra Solani, vegan chef and author of What's Your QB? These have been added to the food self-sufficiency transition plan, and they are white bean and fennel chili and mashed sweet potato tacos, both with rice and macadamia sour cream. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team working on highest good housing 
Continued progress on the assembly specifics for the open source Murphy bed furniture. This week we redesigned the two back shelves for the his and hers storage and closet space and updated and relabeled all the associated images. This work is happening behind the scenes and what you see here will be part of the Earthbag Village and the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. We estimate we're now 68% complete with this behind the scenes work. Also behind the scenes, we finished another 5% of the Earth Dome loft construction tutorial specifics. This work included redesigning the insulatory hatch that you see here for the loft storage, as well as a week of work on the load calculations for appropriate sizing of the loft joists. The calculations work is being done with Antonio Zambianco, civil engineer, student, and structural lead for Team Brazil, and we're now 65% complete with this behind-the-scenes work. Core team also moved the Earthbag Village water collection specifics to the website. This is the work of Mateus Manfredini, civil engineering student specializing in urban design, and we say these details are about 50% complete. Scott Thomas and his Shadow Ridge Signature Architecture Program team continue their work putting the complete Earthbag Village components together in AutoCAD by adding the paths, roads, and walkways. And Sheng Shu, mechanical uh, design engineer, also finished his fourth round of SolidWorks design specifics for the Three Dome cluster of the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. This work included Sheng exploring the ladder, roof sitting space, and roof window portals you see here. Nellie Leventhal, graphic designer and college professor, also created these first concept sketches for the Shipping Container Village Pod 5, featuring two stacked designs, then a more circular design like this. We're now modifying these into a completely south-facing design to maximize passive solar. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, Da Fang, aerospace and mechanical engineering student, modeled the initial structure for the Ducal City Center domes in SolidWorks. When complete, this modeling will allow us to run complex structural calculations on these domes. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true Earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, Paige, Alice, and Donatelli, graphic designer and owner-operator of Namaste Living in a Material World, created this new image for the One Community Consensus page. We used this image to promote this page this last week through social media as well. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our Highest Good Society creation process. One community is about creating objective and measurable global transformation. The way that we're accomplishing this goal is by creating open source and free shared sustainability components that include food, energy, housing, education, Highest Good Economics, which is for-profit and non-profit business creation, recreation models, as well as true earth stewardship models. We're creating these and we are implementing them as individual components and ultimately to be built as a complete teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub that can be replicated anywhere in the world. Our measurable global transformation goal is to see how many duplicable city centers we can create and how many people will implement all of the open source and free shared components and elements that we're creating in their own lives. And we believe that if we make this easy enough, affordable enough and demonstrate as attractive enough that the idea of a teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub will spread on its own. Demonstrating an evolved and new way of living that combines physical sustainability with emotional sustainability to provide a, an experience of life that most people, we believe, will consider to be far superior to the way that they're living right now. And so in the event that this becomes self-replicating, which we believe it predictably will, it will be easy to measure our success because we'll be able to see how many teacher demonstration hubs are being built around the world and how these hubs are helping others to help build teacher demonstration hubs around the world too. And in so doing, we believe, and if you run the numbers on it, we can transform our planet to a completely sustainable planet within our lifetime. 
positively and permanently affecting the lives of every single person and living thing on this planet in some way. So this is what our organization is all about. This is what we're creating. This is what we're doing. If this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if this sounds like something you'd like to get involved in, we invite you to join us. There's lots of different ways to get involved in our organization. You can join as a pioneer, the people that will move to the property and build the physical location, the first teacher demonstration community village and hub that will then teach others how to build additional community villages and hubs. Or you can join us as a satellite member, which are the people that are part of our project, but not interested in moving to the property, but they still participate in our weekly calls, our weekly uh, project planning meetings, etc. Or you can join us as a partner consultant, which are the huge and constantly growing group of people that are helping us behind the scenes, donating their time to keep everything moving forward. Our entire project, is volunteers. None of us are paid for what it is that we're doing. We're creating this because we want to live this way. We're creating this because we believe that it has the potential to totally transform life on this planet, create a sustainable world for the benefit of everyone. There's lots of different ways to get involved. The easiest way also, if you'd like to just help us out, is help us share the information. Creating objective, measurable global transformation. We are currently also monitoring this by how much our information is being shared. How many people are accessing our open source and free shared tools, tutorials, resources, blueprints, the things that we've already created, which in some cases have been shared thousands of times. And that is extremely exciting to us because it means that the information is useful. It means that people are accessing the information. It means that people are sharing the information. So if you'd like to help us out, share our information. We are on all of the different social media networks. We are on Facebook. We are on Twitter. We are on Sue, our new favorite social media network. We are on LinkedIn. We are on Pinterest. We are on Twitter. We are on Reddit. We are on Tumblr and about 10 other social media networks to make it as easy for people to access our information as possible. Also, we are still seeking large-scale funding. I said that we are a group of 100% nonprofit volunteers, and uh, as as unpaid volunteers, you know the the price tag that we are looking for is a six million dollar price tag to build everything that is the first version of one community, the first village model, the duplicable city center to purchase the property, to pay for food and insurance and everything that's necessary to build the first teacher demonstration hub, and from there we will generate enough revenue to not only expand continuously and indefinitely, but also to be able to fund the building of additional teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs around the world too. Our organization is meant to become sustainable on its own and to provide a model that other people will be able to duplicate for a fraction of the cost of what it costs to build the first one. But to do that, we're looking for that individual or that group that can help us out. So if you know somebody, if you're a connector, if you're somebody who, or if you are an individual that has access to the resources and you'd like to either donate to our 501c3 nonprofit organization or to invest in our nonprofit organization, we'd definitely like to talk to you. Objective and measurable global transformation is completely possible. We're all, we've already had an objective and measurable result. If you look at the amount of information that we've created, the people that we know, we have people all over the world that are using our information right now. We get contacted constantly by sustainable communities that are using our information and to help themselves establish what it is that they're doing. The next step is for us to build the first complete teacher demonstration hub to double check all of our numbers, to get people on the ground and to show, to open source share the process of adapting everything that it is that we've created to this point so that other people that are using that information understand what would be necessary for them to adapt it to and to create the physical location that people will be able to come and visit and experience. So someone will be able to come and stay in an earth bag home and decide if that's something that they would want to build. They'll be able to come and stay in a teacher demonstration hub and check it out as a vacation experience and decide if this is a way that they would like to live too. So this is what we're up to. As always, we thank everybody for the small donations. We thank everybody for all the emails that we get. We thank everybody for all the help that we're getting, all the comments that we get, all the shares that we get in social media. And of course, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.